Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit along with our business partner Tricon Technology Group. We would be continue talking about how to implement workforce planning module from enterprise planning budgeting cloud service. And today example we see part number seven where I'm going to add non-compensation expense in workforce planning and followed by this I'm going to add budget value to the same. So let's get started. The step one, uh, in the previous session, as we discussed, there are various kinds of compensation elements. The compensation is primarily classified as direct and indirect compensation, where direct compensation, you have basic pay, merit pay, salary, wages, and so on. However, your workforce planning also allow you to have non-compensation expenses, such as training expense, employee paid parking, and mail service. In today's example, I'm going to add these non-compensation expenses into our workforce planning. So let's get started. You log in, you start with login to your workforce planning module, and then we go to application configuration and add these two non-compensation members. Click on configure and select your module, which is workforce planning. In today's example, I'm going to add this manually, and subsequently we add using data management utility or EPM automate select non compensation expense and there is an option to add individual member or you can add multiple member through import and export method. So I already added employee paid parking. I'm going to add new service called mail service. So click on add put over here new name called mail service. And this mail service is for employee if you have any driver or any value, the mail service driven based on certain formula, you can define formula over here. But however, in this example, we are not going to add any formula. So this is going to be employee mail service. Click on save and uh, then we are going to add value to this. However, before you input budget value to this, as we modify application structure, after you modify application structure, you're supposed to refresh your database. Refresh your database, probably it takes a few seconds. We wait for this database to be refreshed. We can schedule this refresh database as a job. If you're loading metadata through EPIM automate utility, you can put all the instruction in a certain order and create a batch file and schedule it. The workforce enterprise planning and budgeting also have inbuilt uh, scheduling utility. So it will take another few seconds to refresh this queue. The refresh got completed. Now I'm going to add budget value to my non-compensation expenses. So budget value you can input from your workforce card. It consists of card and cluster. We already added non-compensation expenses. Go to workforce module. It comes under other expenses. So go to other expenses and you can input other expenses for individual employee or a group of employee. So first select this option called uh, inter expenses. Under inter expenses, I can select individual employee. And for example, in this example, in this case, my point of use employee ID E0001. I can select individual employee and enter all kind of expenses over here because we set as a flow type Therefore, the value got aggregated to the parent. Click on save. In addition to this, you can enter expenses of multiple employees simultaneously. Enter expenses and limit over here in a point of view what kind of expense you want. So I select expense type as non-compensation expenses under employee mail service. Click OK. And now you can enter the value over here. Make sure you click on go or this right headed arrow so that whatever selection you have done, it gets affected. Now enter the mail service for all the employees, all the active employees and click on save. So in addition to modify your or adding new non-compensation expenses from here, we can also modify from a simplified interface and navigator dimension option. All the changes you make, you can see the summary expenses over here. 
so there's an option called summary non compensation expenses the value doesn't appear over here probably need to refresh it there's one more way you can add non compensation expenses you can click on navigator dimension and locate under account dimension limit yourself to workforce planning so account dimension under workforce planning there's an exp explicitly a member called non compensation expense you can add a member or sibling from here as well so you can modify member from here and uh, there's one more way you can modify your account dimension member but the recommended way to configure your workforce planning from configuration tag only you can select application and there's an option called overview and overview select your dimension or select your dimension and filter it on a queue workforce planning and add new non compensation expense so under account there are 134 member and uh, in turn filter to non compensation expense this is called simplify interface because your business user planner can directly add member over here so workforce planning account you can drill down to the same and uh, under this you have workforce expenses and under this you have non compensation expense so you can add more non compensation expense there is an option to add child and sibling right so you got multiple ways through which you can modify your metadata right so the example which we use we just added one member in case you need to add member directly from your source your source is like your erp system or your flat file you can use epm automate or you can use uh, data management utility to load this metadata so once all done the final outcome is you can see the updated numbers in your summary expense summary so that's it for today and should you have any question please feel free to write to us our site is bhpsolutions.com thank you